Well, good evening or good afternoon. How are y'all doing today? I am doing so fine. I just stopped by to say hello just because, just because I'm a really nice person and I care, you know? Sometimes days go by and there are people in this world that no one ever speaks to or says hello to. So I'm saying hello to you today. I'm getting ready to make a sub sandwich, y'all. I'm gonna do it. I, I can't help it, I like bread, you know. I have made my own herb crusted bread. This has garlic and, and olive oil and salt and pepper and Italian seasoning on it. Mm. You know what? And this this was this was a plain baguette that I bought from the grocery store. And if I were to try to go and buy a, a baguette with all these seasonings on it, yo, I'm telling you, they they mark stuff up so much. It would have been so expensive. Well, it would have been more than I paid for that. Y'all, what do y'all think about the, the food prices of today? Oh my gosh. What is going on with food prices, y'all? I mean, you know, and food is one of those things that you have to have to survive. I'm thinking about um, starting my own garden or something like that. Trying to, I'm gonna try to grow something this year. I don't know what it is, but that I'm gonna grow, but I'm gonna grow something, y'all. These food prices are just through the roof. I mean, there was a time when you could buy a two liter soda from the grocery store for, you know, 99 cents, $1.25. Now they are almost $3 a bottle at the grocery store. That used to be what you paid if you went to a 7-Eleven or gas station or something like that for a two liter. No, nowadays the regular grocery store is charging those kind of prices, y'all. It's time for us to start growing our own food. It's time for us to start drinking tea with tea bags that we have in our own homes. You know what I'm saying? Instead of paying a dollar for a large sweet tea or whatever size sweet tea you want at McDonald's, add another dollar to that, go get you a big old box of tea bags. Shoot, make your own tea at home and you can make several gallons with one box of tea bags. So y'all, I'm all about, I'm all about saving money nowadays. I really am. This is, you know, I, I love to eat out. And for most of my life, I'm gonna step away for one second. <laughs> Serenade you guys while I'm stepping away. <laughs> uh, I love to eat out. Or I used to love to eat out. It's one of my favorite things to do um, go out with family and friends or just by myself and eat out, you know? But nowadays, y'all, for real, what I do is I, I, you know, I have all these recipe books, all these cookbooks here at the house. I go through those and see if I can come up with something fancy to make or I'll just rig stuff, something up in my kitchen, which I do a lot of. And, you know, that way I'll have leftovers. I can eat from that same dish two or three times. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it to go broke anymore. Not really go broke, but, you know, spend what extra you have on eating out. But what I can do is have people over. That way they're eating out. But can't do that right now because, you know, we have to wait until we get past this time of sickness that's happening in our world today. Um, so, you know, I find myself nowadays just in this kitchen, rigging stuff up, doing these fun little videos, you know, singing songs, you know, just trying to do something to keep from being bored or, you know, Something like that. So, but anyway, these these food prices, what made me think about it is I went to um, the grocery store a couple of days ago 
to find just a little pack of deli meat. You know, I wanted some turkey and, you know, maybe some salami or something like that. And the little packages of meat were like 10 and $11. I have never seen lunch meat go for that much before ever. I mean, I, I suppose they go for that much at places like Sam's Club because you know, you'll, you'll end up getting it in bulk if you go there. This was at the regular grocery store. And so I thought, okay, what am I gonna do? If I go buy a sub, because I like subs every now and then, if I go and buy a sub from like, you know, any place, it's probably gonna be $10 for a sub, a bag of chips and a drink. No, it's probably gonna be like $12. So I ended up getting a pack of lunch meat two packs of lunch meat. I got some salami, some oven roasted turkey breast, and some um, monster cheese, which I really love. And I paid four, four, and four. I paid eight uh, $12 for the three. Here's the oven roasted turkey breast I got. Here's the salami that I got. And the monster cheese. Um, I ripped through the package because I couldn't open it. So I ended up paying $12, but it was for these three things instead of, you know, a sandwich, a soda, and some chips. Y'all think, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once you think about it, we just, we just really blow through our money. I mean, you might as well take a match, strike a match to it, you know what I'm saying? Because all this eating out, which is fun to do, I do love to do it. You know, there's a time for that. And then there's a time to sober up and start cooking at home. And so that's what I do. I find myself doing a lot of cooking. I make, I'm making dog food now just out of my leftovers, basically. I'm still buying the dry kibble for my dogs. Um, they eat the Canada dog food. And sometimes they eat the, uh, the Whole Heart Petco bread. But if I have like some, um, uh, baked chicken or something like that that my dogs can eat um, you got to be careful what you feed your dogs because you don't want to make them sick but if it's something like plain like peas and carrots with no salt or um, you know leftover chicken I take that kind of stuff and I clean it you know what I'm well, the part that I'm not going to eat I will, I will uh, boil it or scald it in hot water to get off any seasonings and things like that. And, you know, um, mince it up finely and put it in the freezer. And then as I feed my dogs every day, I'll grab a little bit of it out and sprinkle it on their dry food. And hey, they have wet food because I don't know, if you pet owners out there, you might know that just a can of really good dog food can cost $4 at the pet store, three, four dollars for one can. I mean, that's really expensive. So I just, I just make it myself, you know. But, so do I have everything I need for my salad? I got my pickles on there. I got every, that, everything on there. That was a quick fix right there. And see y'all, I have a nice looking sub here. Let me show y'all a picture of this sandwich. <laughs> Doesn't this look good, y'all? Tell me this won't cost $9 at a restaurant like Johnny Subs or somebody, something like that. Not today. I got my own little sandwich. I have some soda in the fridge. I also have some apple cider I need to um, uh, finish drinking. I didn't... Um, I didn't use my juicer this week, so I bought some cold pressed apple juice. Um, it was on sale and it was fresh. So that was a huge bonus for me. And I have some wonderful chips. These are my favorite chips nowadays, y'all. The Cape Cod. I can't even look at Lay's potato chips now because the Cape Cod chips are so good. They have a very nice crunch and they taste like real potatoes. You can eat one of these and then you eat um, a Lay's potato chip, you will immediately notice the difference. 
And I'm not going to have fruit with that because I'm having my apple juice. I don't want any vegetables with it. I mean, I'm having lettuce. <laughs> I have lettuce on it and a couple of slices of pickles and some tomato. So I'm good to go. Y'all, this is going to be one wonderful um, dinner. And then I'm just going to, you know, chill, call it a night. But y'all, I want to leave you guys with this. Something I learned in elementary school. Sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong, sing a good things, not bad. I remember that song? Sing a happy, not sad. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. Bye, y'all. Have a good day.